You could be the greatest real estate agent in the world. But if no one knows that you're the greatest real estate agent in the world. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What's going on, good people? It's your brother, your uncle, your favorite realtor's favorite realtor. And for today's video, I am so excited to lay this 49-minute-ish video in your lap because if you are not planning for your 2025 right now and how you want to scale your business using a free platform like any of the social media outlets you're leaving money on the table let me tell y'all something prior to recording this video i just got a listing lead for a property in a state that i'm not even licensed in because that individual found me on social media. So I'm telling you from experience and the experience of others that if you are not here at a place like Real Brokerage, where some of the brightest minds on social media are currently hanging your license, let's have that conversation going into 2025. For today's video, my colleague and co-sponsor partner, Mr. Gagan Timsina, is going to lay a complete blueprint on what you need to be doing right now with your social media to not only make it appealing to the eyes, but also how to convert individuals that are lurking on your page more than likely into actual buyers and seller clients. Oftentimes it's not necessarily you or what you're saying, but it's what you are failing to say in that video. That's the reason why you're not converting leads. So I'm excited for you to watch today's video. If you get value from it, as always, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if this is your first time watching any video on the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way YouTube will continue to push content like this to help you in your business. But without further ado, let's tap in. So guys, all of you will be getting a notification from my Firefly, and this is also recorded, right? So that means for the first duration of the call, I wouldn't write anything down. Just, just try to pay attention because we have so many slides and not so many minutes. So the entire idea behind this, and I keep thinking about from our team's perspective, is more than anything else, we need to create an identity for ourselves with our brand, right? We need to get really, really famous and really, really fast because everything that's happening right now is with the catapult of fame. So in this one, I wanna talk about how can you convert with that fame method? How can you number one, get famous? And number two, have people reach out to you at a whim. And number three, make it so that you are continuously in front of their face at every single time while doing it in the most positive way possible. So here's the idea that I wanna talk about. Have you guys seen this, yes or no? This has been taken over the storm. These methods of simply posting what's going on in terms of the, the location and talking about, hey, these things are happening and this is my opinion on it. Or things like this over here, new Chick-fil-A. Everyone loves Chick-fil-A, right? If you don't, you're weird. Well, Marvin's vegetarian, so he's weird. Second, things like this over here. There's a new fresh market that's coming along. Here's the park, here's recreation, here's what's happening. All of these things are being absolutely dominating right now. The game has changed for realtors. It's not anymore of, hey, you want to buy or sell. Here's new construction. Here's gutters. None of that works anymore. You have to become the local market expert. So the conversation that I want to have today is very, very simply this. Will this method work for me? Will this work in my market? Is this something that I can do myself? And with proof of concept, I simply want to say, you tell me. All of these messages, if you've seen it, this was my texts, are in the last 20 days that I've gotten. Now, if you look in the bottom left, I tried shooting my shot and she said no, but for the most part, all of these are real estate conversations. This was a YouTube lead that's pre-approved. This is a lead that's pre-approved. All of these conversations, they turned into pre-approval. And out of the pre-approvals and conversations that we've had thus far in the last 20 days, I've closed $750,000 worth of real estate from this method and from capturing leads on Instagram and Facebook. It will absolutely work in your market. The only thing is you have to be willing to work with it. So pens and papers, this is what we're going to do. It's super duper simple. Attention, become the expert, and then ask for the business. If you don't ask for someone to marry you, they will never know you want to marry them. It's as simple as that. If you never ask the prospect, hey, you want to work together? They will never know that's your intention. So how do we actually become the attention first? And how do we gain that? Number one, we focus on these concepts right here. When you look at what people post and when you look at what specific content works really, really well, first and foremost is the aesthetics, drone shots, 
things about beautiful audio, uh, beautiful audio, arrays of voices, things like that works really, really well. Second is specific locations. So if I live in Rochester, New York, here is Brighton. Take a look at it. Third, and I can attest to this, is food. If I'm Marvin in Atlanta, Georgia, I'm making so much content about the best vegan restaurants, it's not even funny because that is a niche within itself. Next is development. People love seeing developments, right? Bill Olson has scaled his channel to 9,000 followers simply by talking about what's happening with development. And then finally, in the last piece of Maslow's hierarchy is real estate. The thing, the issue that we see with realtors is they think this is the only thing we talk about. The problem with real estate is at any given time, only 3% of the population is looking for a home. What about the other 97? We need to make sure that we're absorbing every piece of conversation and facilitating growth at any moment. Just because there's 3% of the population looking doesn't mean that we just target those 3%. It means we target everyone and wait for them to churn. So what does this look like? These are the posts. I would absolutely R&D, duplicate, and steal all of these. Like, do not overcomplicate this. Simplicity scales. You will scale so much faster by being simple than by being overly complicated, and it's nuts. What's happening in my market this weekend? The median price points in your market, the most luxurious homes. And if you have it, just get drone footage. What works even better, what has worked exceptionally well for people like Ken Pozak, Brandon, uh, I forgot his last name, Bill Olson, and myself are talking head videos. And even more, look at that beautiful smile right there. You guys all know this guy. These things are working for him. When I look at his channel, these videos are the most viewers. People care about your opinion, and especially when you're unique and you have something to say, the first thing that Randall says is, what's up, y'all? I can't say that. I don't even know how to say that properly. Most people don't say that. That makes him unique. That is his brand. When Brandon is talking about Chick-fil-A, he's saying his favorite things to eat. In the comment sections, they're calling him dumb. He doesn't care. That's engagement. Hey, here's where all the rich people live in Columbus. It's a Texas thing we talked to her and I love it. Here's where all the rich people live in Columbus. Arplan, here's where all the rich people live in Harrisburg. Get on, here's where all the rich people live in Dallas. I think that's your market. All of these markets, all of these churns have something unique in attribution. It is your job to find that thing and then add yourself as the niche. If you are going to write anything down, just write this down. It's super duper simple. You are your niche. You are your niche. Alex Ramosi says it. That other guy that talks really fast says it. I can't think of his name right now. You are your own brand. People care about Gary Vee. Perfect. Thank you. People care about this guy, this guy, and they care about this. It's not an either or anymore. They want to hear your opinion. ChatGPT has objectified everything. Subjectivity and authenticity now scales. So you might be wondering, hey, how do I actually do it? Listen, if you're looking for a four bedroom house in Pittsburgh under 500, can you guys listen? Can you guys hear my screen? Yes or no? Give me a one if you can. One, perfect, love it. Okay, so here are the videos that I did. All of these took me less than five minutes. Watch how simple they are, ready? $1,000, this video is for you. Listen, if you're looking for a four bedroom house in Pittsburgh under $500,000, this video is for you. There's over a hundred homes on the open market right now, but there's only four that I absolutely think are even just worth looking at. If you want that list, just comment below and I'll send it over to your email as soon as I can. See you soon. Listen, if you're looking for a- That's Number one, video number two. First and foremost, that beat is fire. Second, 
That's simple video. It took me less than 15 seconds to make that. And finally, the ones that we talk about, the heavy hitters are these. Far over $250,000 just for bagging and security. This is the Columbus new airport that's coming out with an estimated finish date of 2026 and a arrival date for people in 2029. These are the pictures of it right here. Let me know what you guys think of it. Do you think that it's actually going to be completed in time or do you think it's completed? This video had people going nuts in the comment sections. They told me this was the dumbest thing in the world. Some other lady called that other lady stupid. She said her cat in her bio was dumb. They were just going at it. That's what you want. Let the people talk. Let them do their thing. Every kind of publicity, and this is what I call the LeVar Ball method, every kind of publicity is good publicity. LeVar was saying nuts things. He's saying his son was better than Curry, but he got famous, didn't he? His boys made the NBA, didn't he? He sold shoes, didn't he? That's the method that you want. And I'm not saying be absolutely ridiculously crazy. You have a brand to protect. What I am saying is when people are talking and just going nuts with you in the comment sections, let them. Do not be afraid to engage. They are keyboard warriors. Now, we know what to do, right? So we've decided that these are the things that we're going to do. We've decided that every single day, we're going to post a video about this kind of thing, this kind of thing, and these kind of things. We've decided and we've committed to ourselves and everyone on this call and to our families and our grandchildren that we will do these things. The next question you must be listen if you're looking for is, hey, how do I become an expert? But even before I tell you that, as I was building this at 1018, look at my beautiful smile. As I was building this exact slide, listen this to is this one right here. As I was listen building this slide, I got a DM. Like if that's not proof of concept for you guys, I don't know what is. Simplicity scales. This objectively speaking will generate you leads how you convert those leads we'll talk about in just a second but this works this was at 10 18. you must be asking yourself how do i become the expert even before i get to that can you give me a one if you guys understand the method so far just put a one up there perfect arplan i can't see if you got a one because your camera is turned off tiara aaron and i heard aaron was really good looking too so it's kind of a shame Marvin told me. I got my book, Andres. Let's go, Art. Let's go. Love it. Okay. So how do we become the expert? Guys, there's five things that I like to do, and you can pick any of them. Number five is my favorite. Number one is PDFs, and I'm going to show you everything. Do not overcomplicate this, number one. And number two, I will show you how I do it because I want to give all this away. If you guys make money, that means real makes money. That means my stock price goes up. PDFs. Number two is webinars. People that can expertly scale webinars make more money than anything else. Neil Patel was my uncle. I'm just kidding. He's not. Neil Patel has a graph in which people buy the most per activity. Webinars are the number one thing in which people purchase. This goes hard. Number three is food. And number four is new construction. This is called the Fres Yes Report. Obviously, you guys know Fres No. It's a play on the word. People go nuts about the food. They are so protective about what is the best. Marvin, give me a give me a good taco spot in Atlanta. Uh, Del Taco, uh, Taco Bell, or Del Taco. Del Taco. We all know Del Taco. Give me another one. Uh, uh, ta Taco Bell. Uh, Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. I go there every day. So yeah. if you made a post about the best taco and how that's Del Taco, people would go nuts in the comment sections. They would call you an idiot. They would say, you're not a local. You don't know what you're talking about. It's X, it's Y, it's Z. That is what this does. This creates tequila mama. Okay. See, we've got competition already. Number four is new construction. If you guys haven't seen this channel, it's called new home source. They have off market new construction. One of the things that I love to do is I send my clients loom videos of four or five off market new constructions. And I say, Hey, listen, if you want to see any of these, call me. That's the reason that I get those DMS. That's the reason that people actually respond to me. I actually shared this what that website with everyone here on the team so they could create their own, uh, new construction home website. So you are absolutely right. It works so well. And if you ran this as an ad guys, 
in simplest terms, I would just simply say this. Listen, there's five bedrooms home. There's over 100 new constructions that people don't even know about. I'll send it over to you. What's up? My name is Marvin. I work in the Atlanta, mar Atlanta market. And right now in November and December, all these builders are scared. They want to get their home sold, but they can't. Meaning for you, you get to save tens of thousands of dollars. If you want my top pick for the best new construction homes in all of Atlanta, just comment below. I'll send it over to you. Talk to you soon. You put 20 bucks behind that, that will scale in your market. So these are top four. My favorite one, my favorite, favorite, favorite one is video. This is how I become the expert. I'm guessing 90% of you, and raise your hands, how many of you found Marvin from YouTube? Most of you guys, right? Yeah, Marvin found himself from YouTube, that's funny. Exactly. You saw his video, you said, damn, this guy's handsome talk so smooth like a jazz player i want to be by his side video is the same way guys just because it's working for agents does not mean it won't work for home buyers and sellers human beings when they're watching you they're building a relationship all of my videos at the very least go from eight minutes to 20 30 40 minutes long the reason that i have that is because i want them to be there I want these guys to be there. I want them to listen and see me. I want them to hear the shitty jokes that I make. Whoopsie. I want them to hear the bad jokes that I make. I want them to he hear about my family. And when we came here from Nepal, I want them to be emotionally connected to me. So video scales super duper fast. All of these thumbnails I created in less than like five minutes. So you're probably like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. The thumbnails look good, which you're probably not thinking because these thumbnails are terrible. But to create this, to create this, all of this takes less than five minutes. And if you want the exact GPT that I use, DM Randall because I gave it to him like 20 minutes ago. Don't DM me, DM him. Hey, if you've made it this far in the video and you are a real estate professional, consider partnering with me here at Real Brokerage. You pay nothing per month, get a fantastic split, and you have the opportunity to build a business through revenue share and stock purchases. Book a call at the link below in today's video, and I'm happy to have a conversation on why I was able to grow my business exponentially by moving my practice to Real Brokerage. All right, back to the video. You're probably wondering, you're like, hey, what does your PDF look like? Let me show you. This is a 40 page guide. This is what my PDF looks like. So we've got the place, right? We've got the food. Same, same thing. You got the maps, you got the food. Now we come to the home buying process. And this is Real's guide. I just got I just copied a verbatim. Wow. Pre-approval process. I'm going to show you guys something in the end. I'm guessing most of you will never be able to guess what it is. I'm going to show you something that you should be giving away that no one is giving away. I want, I want you to think about what that thing is as this loads. Ready? It's the real estate contract. Mm. I'm giving away the contract. Like, who cares that they're seeing it? Guys, that's the real estate contract. You should have this. When Myla hit me up, I, the, the YouTube Connect, I was like, hey, here's the real estate contract, by the way. She hit me back up 20 minutes later. She goes, I've never had anyone send that over to me. I know exactly what this is about. You can write the contract now. That's what you want. Guys, give this away. Nope. Show your partners. Give this away. You want to talk about the you want to talk about the food? Show the food. Show the places. You want to show the maps? Show the maps. Let's go, Drew. Give it away. Now. If you're not a PDF guy or a gal or anyone else in between, 2024, man, there's options as well. We got webinars, right? We talked about webinars. Everyone, now, this is meant for you. This is meant for agents because I focus more on scaling production for agents. That's my job right now. Um, Art Bun, you know, all these guys, we work together to make as much money as possible, Randall as well. This is what I share with agents. This is how you build a webinar. The next one that I'll share with you is consumer facing, but this is for you guys to get into webinars but you just don't have the structure for it well let me teach you everything about webinars that i know anik single has a five-step formula for an eight-figure webinar and the story goes like this intro story content transition 
pitch, in the next steps, in the next parts of this specific topic, I'm going to break down every single one of these things, what to talk about, what not to talk about, so you can master webinars at the highest degree and have clients coming to you. I'll see you in the next part. So obviously, I don't have time to share every single thing, but those are the five pieces of the webinars, right? So you've got first and foremost, intro, story, content, transition, and pitch. All I would do if I were you, hey, chat GPT, how do I make the best webinar? Simplicity scales. Now, this is for agent-centric. I know John's thinking, okay, but what do I send the consumer? I know Michelle's thinking the exact same thing because I can read your minds. John, you got a great beard, by the way. I wish I could do that out. I'm so jealous of you, bro. This if is you're thinking about buying a house in Rochester, New York, you're probably facing one of three challenges number one there's no inventory in the market number two all of your offers are getting outbid and number three the rates are just too high if that sounds like you my business partner cam and i are going live this thursday at 6 p.m to show you our inside strategies to make it so that you win and find that perfect property in any competitive market i'll see you there erica that's super simple right uh you guys are all wondering who i'm gonna call next this this is my favorite part of the game this is as simple as it gets because I call out the problem. Listen, if you're thinking about buying a house in Rochester, New York, you're probably facing one of three challenges. If you're thinking about buying a house in Rochester, New York, you're probably facing one of three challenges. Number one, there's no inventory in the market. Number two, all of your offers are getting outbid. And number three, the rates are just too high. If that sounds like you, my business partner Cam and I are going live this Thursday at 6 p.m. to show you our inside strategies to make it so that you win and find that perfect property in any competitive market. I'll see you there. The number one thing that I did, guys, you gotta understand, is I called out people that should not watch this video. If you're thinking about buying a house in Rochester, New York, you're probably facing. If you're thinking about buying a house, because if you're not thinking about it, you're not going to watch the rest. And that changes our targeting so much because if someone is watching this entire video and then we call out the audience at the end portion of it, when we're building out a custom audience, which you'll see, it all becomes wonky. We want to call our targeted audience at the first and foremost. Next is food. We just talked about this. This is the Fres Yes report. If you look at what they're doing, they're talking about the food here, but you can also see that they're real estate. Like you can see all of that, the reports, the foods. You get a chance to answer it. People comment, people respond, the best, whatever that's called, I don't know. But when you think about it, it makes such logical sense. Monique, would you know, what market are you in, Monique? I'm in Atlanta. Atlanta. Would you know what the best taco spot is in Atlanta if you didn't live in Atlanta? No. No, you wouldn't. To Marvin, it's Del Taco, which is nuts. But you wouldn't know. So that's why this becomes the local expert. Guys, no longer is real estate about buying or selling homes. It's about selling communities. You have to shift that mindset. It's about shelling, shelling. It's about selling communities. We are not real estate agents. We do not sell homes. We are a media company that happens to sell real estate. We are a media company that happens to sell real estate. One of the biggest things that I do in my market and Arpan does in his market is we have what we call chapate. It's a it's an ethnic food for Nepali people. I go and I review chapate. When I went to a, a, a concert, people knew me from that video. You're creating brand recognition. Guys, remember, it is no longer about just real estate. We are a media company that happens to sell real estate. A 20 Finally, is video. So this video, again, from the same call out when the guy said video, this was the link that I was sending it to. Watch the editing. It's nothing crazy. It is not complicated. And also, this video is not evergreen. It's about a new development project, but I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to share with the video here. A billion dollar project that might never happen. Let's talk about it. And one of the biggest things is in January of 2022, Intel created and announced their, well, Intel project, which was expected to be a $28 billion project in New Albany that was, well, the single largest investment deal in all of Ohio's 
history. The goal was to establish a semiconducting manufacturing hub right in Ohio to really strengthen the domestic tech capabilities. And ultimately, we're saying that Ohio is on the map, that Ohio has th things to produce, and which very seriously begs the question, will it ever be done? Let's talk about its story. You guys see the story, right? You get the idea behind it, right? The whole premise is about something that's happening in this moment, something that's pertinent to every single person that lives in my marketplace. Videos like this, thank you, Eric, I really appreciate it. Videos like this are not overly saturated. They're not overly flary. They're nothing crazy. It's me talking to the camera and presenting something that's going on. People love that. If you are creating content, do not continuously be evergreen. Have something that's pertinent to today's marketplace. It makes a massive difference. Like Randall and I, for example, we have a 30-day sprint where every single day we're going to post a map tour. People that don't live in Mansville, people that don't live in Houston, they don't know anything about it. So you become an expert, and you might not get a tens of thousands of views, but I promise you that people that are watching are curious about moving to Houston. I know I wouldn't watch a map tour of his, Houston for an hour. I'm not moving there. But if Michelle is, she will. We are our own niche. Now, this one's a longer video, but I, I want to show you guys something. A lot of people reach out directly about ads. And I think this is why Marvin wanted me on, because we've created the content. We've created the demographic. We've created the audience. The question then becomes, how do I make sure my audience never leaves me? This is how you build a custom audience on Facebook. As you guys can see, we run a crap ton of ads. So it's super fun. But on the left side, it says audience. You press on audience. As this begins to load, you'll see. You press create audience, custom audience. Guys, you guys can do this with me, I promise you. Video. Because we're posting so many pieces of content. Next, engagement type, people that have seen 15 seconds of your video, 50% of your video, whatever you want, and then you select the video. John, is this complicated? So I'm saying, brother, it's not complicated. And this is uh, business.facebook.com, which we talked about y'all a few uh, weeks ago, business.facebook.com. Custom audience, and then you can build it up for your Instagram channel as well. Anyone that's watching you on Instagram, you can do these things. Like it's not complicated, guys. You just never done it before. That's the big issue. Anyone that's engaged with it, yep, press there. They join. They become a part of your custom audience. It's hard to see. I'll watch the recording. Let me see if I can make this bigger. I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Let's go. So that's that. Right, so you're changing the name to Instagram. It's nothing crazy, nothing complicated. Now, you're probably like, okay, how do I use these people and how do I add them? Very, very simply put, we do this. Oh, wait, I can make this bigger. I didn't know that. Wait, no, I can't. I lost you guys. Whoopsie daisy. Let's go back. That is perfect. I can see it. Okay, there we go. So you're building the custom audience there. You're creating these things. Now, all you do is you go back here to campaigns, uh, and then you I did notice on there was two of them. So it might be the other one. I just wrote down the first Somebody's off yeah. mute. Somebody's so off I was just walking. That's not my client, Vice Brothers. So I was just oh, like, you know, trying to help her out. But I saw there was two, and I was like, well. Sorry about that. Go ahead, Gagan. No worries. I know Monique is struggling with her clients. Um. Housing, and then guys, you go here, and you build it out right there. So as we go to the ad set, which controls the objective, you build this out, website, custom audience, which is gonna be right there. Now, I took you on a little detour here, but I'm not gonna show you this because we don't have much time. But if we go back, tracking all my data, let's go back here, right there on the ad set, is the custom audience. And we built this out right there. Guys, this is the same audience that we built out right there. We've done it in less than three minutes. 
Don't worry about any of that. Now comes the fun part. This is the actual ad. This is the creative for the ad. Now you're probably thinking, because I know you, I know how you guys think. You're probably thinking, oh, I don't know what to write. What am I going to put there? I got you. Now I know this is hard to read, John. Don't worry about it. I will send this to Marvin and I'll send this to Marvin as well. And he'll send it to you guys. Deal? Perfect. Love it. So this is what I write. And then this is what comes after that. You always train AI. AI is like a baby. You have to give it secondary commands. That's good, but do better. You are better than this, and I believe in you. Make it more compelling and perfect. It will keep changing this to become the best. That's how you prompt AI. Now, the only thing that we do with this, and I know Randall's working on it. He's thinking. He's like, dang, I can definitely use it in Houston. We add the actual creative. We simply say, here's the image. Here's the picture. Here's the video. Turn this into the custom on. Turn this into the creative. And then we send that to our custom audience. Do you guys see how it's all clicking together? You guys see how it's all coming together? It's not just one thing here. It's not just one thing there. Everything is combining. The final piece of the puzzle. We've talked about social media. Can anyone guess what it is? I want you guys to unmute. Erica, what do you think it is? John, Michelle, what's the final piece of the puzzle? Actually doing it. I would hope you guys are doing it. Yeah. I'm assuming you're going to post it. What's up? I'm assuming you're going to post. I, I, will, I will share with you guys the final piece, but I'm asking you. Call the action. Call to action. Yes, yes, yes. We're getting closer. All right. Guys, the final piece of the puzzle is email. It's for the ask. It's asking for the business. We forgot about that, right? We become so ingrained with becoming the expert, with having this massive audience that we simply forget to ask for the business. And the way that I do that with email marketing is very, very simply this. I have a three-step formula in which it's number one, Contact name. So let's take uh, let's take Marvin for example. Marvin, I noticed you. I noticed you registered on our Facebook. The market is going crazy right now. Are you available for a quick call? Then six hours later, it sends this. Hey Marvin, just putting this on top of your email inbox. I'm sure you're busy like we are. Just wanted to make sure that we got all your questions answered. Are you around by chance? And then finally, this goes out the next day. Marvin, before we stop following up, I just want to make sure. That everything is answered. Do you have any questions about these properties? You can change this verbiage, guys, to anything that's being worked on. Marvin, I noticed you register for the best taco spots. Listen, do you live in Fresco? Do you live in Atlanta or are you planning on moving there? We're asking sorting questions. This is the final piece. And then after they answer this, we obviously converse with them. We take them to the phone call. We do what we do because we're professionals. And then we get them to the closing table. The entire idea behind this is we stay top of mind. We become the local market expert. We are no longer just real estate agents. We are a media company that happens to sell real estate. That is the biggest separating factor. If you take nothing else from this conversation, guys, we are a media company that happens to sell real estate in which we are our own niche. And honestly, that's all I got. That's all I got for you. The final thing that Marvin was talking to you guys about, I want to share this with you. We have our own coaching program, usually a thousand bucks because Marvin's the goat. We got Marvin the goat. You put this code, $650 off. You work with us one-on-one -on -one, as long as you want. We scale this with you, make you the best ever and help you get absolutely wickedly paid. That's all I got guys. Thank you so much. I love it. I love it. Gagan, let's give Gagan some digital claps, please. Let me put mine in the chat right now. This is, man. Appreciate you. Um, does anyone have any questions about their uh, current strategy right now going into 2025? I know any of us are uh, business planning right now. And while we have someone that does this every day, what are some questions that you all have about social media and, and follow up and whatnot that uh, Gagan can help tackle? Go for it. Anybody? Let's see here. Randall had a question. Oh, somebody want to go first? Go ahead, Michelle. So, and I'm probably overthinking this because I've not 
quite done my research to figure it out, but I'm trying to figure out the best way to have, you know, as you're talking in a video, mm -hmm. to actually have images of what you're talking about behind you without you necessarily having to be um, in the video. So again, you're, you're still continuing to talk, mm -hmm. um, but only the images can be seen. You're no longer on the screen and then you come back into um, frame or screen or whatever the appropriate word is. How do you do that? Because I see a lot of people doing it and I'm sure it's probably easier than what I think, but again, I've not yet looked at it. Yeah, you're overcomplicating it. I'll say that much. That's what I figured. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got this all right. The only thing that we do, do you use CapCut, Michelle? I use CapCut, I use Canva. Um, so I'm yeah. pretty comfortable with those things. So what we do on CapCut is we add the image and then overlay the image on top of us. So there's different formats on CapCut where there's a, a string one, string two, string three, string four, string five, right? If we're on string five, we simply add the image on string four and it covers our face. Okay. Cool. I'll give it. I'll give it a shot. Cool. And these are buttons that are right at the bottom of CapCut. If you're on uh, CapCut on your phone, the button is right there as you're layering the different videos and images. As Gagan is mentioning, the button is usually the most prevalent that says overlay, and it's easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yeah, and I've used overlay many times, but not for that purpose. So it sounds like it's something that I am familiar with, but just need to do. Yeah. And if you if you're struggling with it, just send me a loom and we can fix it in like five seconds. OK, cool. Thanks. All right. I think Randall had a question then, John. Randall, you there? No, I didn't have a question. I didn't mean to raise my hand. Okay. <laughs> no, so, okay. Go ahead, John. So my, my question is, so would you say you recommend CapCut for editing? Uh, would that be the like the, the most recommend? OK. Uh, yeah, because CapCut, so CapCut is free. Like I've never paid for the version of CapCut that you pay for, right? Like, if you look at um, even this video here, John. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Let me see if I can. If you're, I think it's this one. Even if you watch this video, a twenty like, billion dollar project that might. This was on the free version. Mm. This looks never good. Yeah. It happened. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Thank and you. I think that with CapCut, it allows the easiest uh, way to get that content out because, you know, there's Final Cut, there's Adobe Premiere, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's out there. Yeah. Um, but I use for 99.9% .9 of my videos, I use CapCut. I was using iMovie way back when. Um, but yeah, CapCut is, is the greatest way. Again, remember, as I mentioned, y'all coming in uh, to the call about seed in the ground. So, Gagan is giving us several types of seed for different fruits, if you will, if you're building a uh, creating a garden yeah. uh, that you can put and you never know what's going to take off. Um, yeah. My number one video on TikTok that has almost a million uh, views and still generates me at least three years later is me talking about Costco's um, home mortgage program. Like go on my TikTok now, you'll see it's like 800 something thousand views. Um, of me just sitting in front of the camera and I didn't even put a lot of cool graphics on it because I wasn't that savvy way back then. But we do not know what is going to hit. And and Sharon has talked about this and several have talked at hominem. Keeping it, what did you say, Gagan? Uh, something simple. So simplicity scales. Simplicity scales. I sat in front of my bookshelf talking about the Costco home mortgage program. Tens of thousands of dollars in commissions that I've made from a 30 second video. So um it, it works um yeah i see randall's working with gagan and, and getting you know getting that content out consistently and and i'm excited for anybody else uh that will take the nuggets today and make those you know make those investments in your business make those investments in your business look into gagan's team see what they can put together for you um see what you can glean to do if you don't have it in the budget but ultimately action simplicity scales so yeah. i love that I want to show you guys something real quick, if that's okay with you. Yeah, I, I showed you guys all the, the good news, right? Like I showed you all the ones where people are reaching out and I got the deals. Okay. This was at 11.49 a.m. Thank you, God. We're not looking for a house in the moment. Like all of, like most of these conversations lead nowhere. 
we can we can dramatize and make it seem like it's so good and real estate is super simple guys 90 to 95 percent of these conversations don't lead anywhere like most people won't show this like most coaches won't show that because they think they're the greatest in the world it's not going to go anywhere and you have to be okay with that like, like the hardest part about this business is you have to be okay with rejection and it's not just one time you have to be okay with constant rejection getting hit in the face over and over and over again but the one time that it works yep. it's the only time that it needs to work yes sir i have something to add to that go ahead Arpa. um most of the time what i'm realizing is people really think the rejection as rejection it's never a rejection it's only objection you know they're objecting to you because of something so your goal is to figure out what that is don't take it personally like there is no such thing as personal you know like i'm getting rejected but so what imagine that fat check coming your way you know? so nothing is rejection it's only objection it, it, and I often get, I mean, I talk about getting tomatoes thrown at me. You know, when you have a video that takes off, um, it's a lot of trolls. The trolls will find you and <laughs> it can be pretty mean, you know, so I've grown a thick skin on YouTube and, and social media. But sometimes if if a person sees a not good comment like Randall, I didn't even know you you already have some trolls on some of your videos. That's a that's a great thing. That means that there's engagement happening. That also means that the algorithm good or bad it likes any kind of engagement so it'll continue to share your information with more and more uh potential viewers and as Lagan said we just need one to convert but if you have a couple thousand views on a video even a couple hundred views on a video it will stay on that platform for as long as that platform is in existence so you will continue to generate leads from work that you did two weeks ago two months ago two years ago and ultimately that seed that you put in the ground will again grow into a tree that'll continue to bear fruit. So I think it's up to it's up to us going into 2025 to, to see what is not working in our business, to stop over analyzing and talking yourself out of your blessing. A lot of times we wait for things to be perfect before we we launch. We're like, okay, I'm not gonna do this with my social media until this is perfect. Do it messy do it messy like i said uh, again from experience and and thousands of dollars of commissions uh that that i've generated personally i'm just telling y'all my situation um that video wasn't my best edited video that wasn't my best presented video but apparently it just caught at the time that it caught and it was helpful information it was very simple um i was i gave my call to action at the beginning of that video so folks knew how to get in touch with me it was even i was wearing the shirt of my former brokers i wasn't i'm not even there anymore but folks still reach out to me from that video and uh, I, i'm just excited for you all to take the game that gagan has given you and um really uh kill it in 2025 that's my hope and uh that's my prayer for everybody here um, Gagan, I want to be super respectful to your time. He put his contact information in the chat. Um, Erica had a question in uh, the chat here. And Randall, you have your hands up, or is is that uh, not correct? Nah, I do have a quick question. The PDF, uh, Gagan, you gonna send that to me? That PDF? Yeah, you gonna send it, send it to all of us, I think, and then I, I'll forward it to okay. everybody. What we'll, we'll PDF? All right, the yeah. PDF uh, that you showed earlier with. The oh yeah, that. Yeah. I got you. Right. All right, and then you know we gotta have a conversation about that cap cook though. Sure. Only if you say please, Randall. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Erica, what's up? My question. Um, I'm starting to get more traction doing my social media, and Let's go. let me tell me what to do about the trolls. Nothing. Nothing mean, just creepy. Nothing mean, just creepy. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, for a little context, I'm six foot four, 250 pounds. Um, I know that most of the trolls are like 120, live in their mom's basement kind of thing, right? So like, I can beat them up in person. That's great. If you are, <laughs> if you are at the point where you are genuinely uncomfortable and someone is saying something that's like harassing or you're just like, I don't want this in my feed, I don't want this to be a part of my environment, just block them. Okay. And don't think too much about it, right? Like if someone's like, like your hair is stupid, I just replied back, no, you, bro. 
But if someone's being disgusting to you, block them. Who cares? Okay. And, right. and, and I often find with some of my videos, they are, you know, they may say, well, that works for yeah. your market, but that's not going to work in my market. Or it's someone that is just, you know, they're not as, they're not creepy. I haven't come across any, any creeps yet, at least I don't think. But a lot of times it's people just giving their opinion on why my opinion is not going to work. Or they'll say, oh, of course you're saying that you're a real estate agent. You just want to sell people houses, blah, blah, blah. So I always use, as long as it's not necessarily, it can be adversarial type of comments. But if they are giving a point of view, then I simply give my point of view. And we have a little bit of dialogue. But when it turns into, again, you're trying to just be adversarial, then I do take Gagan's point and I block them. But sometimes I, I, I have time today, as the kids say. <laughs> and I waste, my wife tells me I waste far too much time uh, debating strangers on the internet. So now I have a new do Doing not the Tony the closer. Yeah, do not debate strangers on the internet policy. But sometimes the, the trolls really will help you steer the kind of content you need to create. That's another great mm -hmm. thing is maybe there is something, I feel like in any criticism, there's something to be gained from it. So maybe I could have expanded on a certain point in a little more detail. Well, that could be a great follow-up video. If you're on a place like TikTok, you can reply to a person's comment with a fresh video giving perspective on that. So that's why I'm really diving into TikTok going into 2025. There is some concern that is going to go away with the new um, president and all that. I don't get into the policy or any of that. But if TikTok is here to stay for as long as it's here to stay, I'm going all in on TikTok because I have noticed that I have gotten the most traction from there. Yeah. For you, it could be Instagram or it could be Facebook Reels or whatever. But just pick one niche going into 2024 and go crazy on it for six months and 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 with Gagan's help as well, if his team um, and you are a good fit, take the take the dive and see what happens. One deal will cover all of Gagan's services and and then some. And then you're continuing to snowball and learn and get better, get sharper, get faster on social media. And uh, as he mentioned, we're we're many media companies, y'all. So no one's gonna know about us unless we continue to put ourselves out there. Take those trolls comments. Mm -hmm. You could be the you could be the greatest real estate agent in the world, but if no one knows that you're the greatest real estate agent in the world, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. 